one, two. Hello, Shannon. Uh, this is Pete. This is my Kickser, I'm sorry, my QuickBooks Online test account. I have this user profile. Here's my user ID, the email address that's verified. Did you do that? Uh, password verified, a phone number. I have um, multiple or dual uh, verifications. So when I log in, it sends me a text message with a code. <clears throat> That's what this is. Then as I scroll down, we got apps. Manage your third party applications and connections. This is what I have right here. I can remove this. Perhaps, are you saying you have nothing here? Perhaps if there is something there, you remove it. I'm thinking. Um, I don't know how to control this open ID connection scopes. I can look around. And then we go back down the left hand navigation column they have here. Click on apps. What do you have under here under my apps? Do you have anything here? Can you add an application? I don't think Kickserve. Yeah, it's there. Can you type in Kickserve? It's going to bring you here, and you're going to get the app now. I guess you already have it, so that would be a loop. But otherwise, my app <clears throat> should be here. And one of the actions you have is to launch, disconnect. Yeah, I don't know what happens if you launch it from the App Store. It's going to look. Um, no. That's not an angle, but it should be something there. Let's look around. So here's my manage users. I think you know how to get there. Now I'm master admin here. So what if I add the user, standard user, company admin? Of course. Oh, one of the standard admin or company. Let's just try standard admin. We'll do all. Company information. Manage subscriptions. Do you have that turned on for yourself? I'm just going to put all these on. I don't think they have anything to do with anything, but the managed subscriptions might. <clears throat> and then inner name. I have a test customer. Let's see. <clears throat> that works. Okay. Then let's make him the Here's my email I got, inviting Bob. Yeah. I'll just use this email address down here. Fine. Took me a little bit to add the new user, but I did. It was a little tricky, but this is my test account, so I do a lot of adding and subtracting, which is not always normal. So, anyway, I'm going to go back and make the other person now my. Master. Okay, so now I'm logged back in. So the only way I know this is you have to log back in as the master admin, which probably we should, probably should just left it, but I'm going to switch. Make now my new guy 
the master admin. I'll refresh here. I don't know. Maybe it sent me a email. Let's check it out. So it didn't ask the old master admin. It asks the new master admin for permission to become, to accept the role. Did you do this? I got this email. And it's processing. Okay, so it's refreshed and it's asking me now as the new admin which would be you Shannon to accept accept and log in with your password now it's going to tell me I have master admin privileges transferred email has been sent to the former master that confirming the transfer I would have thought they would have done it the other way around but okay so here's what the old master got, which would in your case, uh, I'm sorry, I forget the lady that had it before. Anyway, I know it wasn't Teresa, but anyway, they should get an email just telling them they've been demoted. So I refreshed and got that. It's expired already because it's already been accepted, it says. So now I should be able to log into. <clears throat> QuickBooks Online. I'm now the new master admin, so I don't think I'm going to log out because I'm logged in as a there. Clunky, yes, very, lots of steps. Should not have changed. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to reconnect with this user in my kit server. So now I've disconnected as whoever can do this. I don't think that matters. Now I'm going to log in as my new guy. I think this is it. bore you with this. Okay, I'm in who I should be as. And now I'm going to go back to settings, add on, QuickBooks, integrate, at the speed of light. current app owner who was me did that. Did you guys get this? Hmm. Okay, so you got this, you should have become admin. Waiting. Okay, now I'm where you're at. Got it. <clears throat> so, I got this email, which was confusing, but I do have a test account, so I mess with this and I uh, really try to mess it up all the time on purpose to see what happens. But so I got this one said my username and uh, password were accepted by Intuit QuickBooks Online. I got this email. Bob, who was supposed to be my new owner or master admin, says that by doing that, they've made Pedro the new owner of Kickserve Field Service Software. 
which again was double confusing because I did nothing to change the ownership of Kickster. That's what it's saying. Not QuickBooks, but... So, I went to my account to see if this had been changed, and no, it had not. So what did it mean? I say. So I went back to my QuickBooks and I went to Profile, went here to User Profile. This is correct, that's correct, this is correct. And I said where it is and I scrolled down, Personal Information, bam, there it is. This was a goofy name I picked once upon a great time ago that was associated with this user ID and email I guess and here it is so then went back to kickserve and tried to sync and bam it worked I went through the, the motions but I can show you that again this is what you're gonna see click you should see this Authorize, securely share. Scroll down, this box for me doesn't big enough. You want the connect and connect and it works. So I'm thinking whatever email address that was associated with a name, it's not the same exact name you have in here. Teresa is it spelled the same in here for your username as you're spelt in your personal profile in QuickBooks Online. Oh, and it told me in those uh, messages that you are not, for some reason, under apps. Did you see it there? Anyway, it's there. I hope this helps. This was long.